<laughs> Cloudy World. And when speaking on some of the most brightest and most talented artists of the young generation, many people believe and accept that that would be destroyed lonely. However, a lot of new information has come out recently that we have to talk about coming from his ex-girlfriend and we need to break it down right now. But first, let's speak on who Destroy Lonely is, what his relationship is with Opium and Playboy Cardi, and how we got to this moment. So Destroy Lonely started working on music at the age of 14, making his first song in a recording studio at school. He was already extremely talented and basically a prodigy at a young age. He met two of his best friends, Texaco and Nezis, who produced many of his early works and continued to work with him on later stuff during school. Immediately upon reading Nezis, they began recording their first project, Nezis Destroyed, and Lonely would later on to gain traction when his early 2018-19 hit, Bane. Now, going further with that, earlier in 2020 to 2022, his last two projects including No Stylus have been crazy. Back in September of 2020, Destroy Lonely will release his third mixtape titled Heartbreak. So a month after on October 31st, 2020, he would then release the deluxe edition following the release in 2020 from the attention off of Bane, which was getting crazy traction. At that time, he got noticed by Playboy Cardi, one of the biggest and most known of our generation. And after the music video for his song, Oh Yeah, in 2021, he signed the Cardi's record label, Opium. Now that's pretty crazy, but in 2021, he appeared in Playboy Cardi's music video for the song Sky, getting mass attention, and in 2022, he was announced as a performer at the Lyrical Lemonade Summer Smash. Now in July, Destroy he appeared on a frequent collaborator for Ken Carson's studio album X. That was also in July 2022, he appeared to fellow Atlanta rapper BK The Ruler single, Forever Part 2, and the Rochester single Slum 6's album, Genesis. In August 2022, Destroy Lonely will release his fifth mixtape titled No Stylist. Many would consider it one of his best and could even be considered a classic from his repertoire, you feel me? So in October 2022, he announced the dates for his next No Stylist tour. Now, from November 18th, Destroy Lonely followed up the mixtape with the NS Ultra. And that being the deluxe version of the mixtape, I mean, they went crazy. On February 2023, he took the Tumblr and announced his next album will be getting released in April, saying my album comes out soon, which we have the highly anticipated single, If Looks Could Kill which was expected to be the lead single for his debut studio album. Now, in May 2023, he already released Money and <laughs> with label mate Ken Carson with two additional tracks, which were going crazy at the time. Now, Destroy Lonely released a deluxe version of his studio album named If Looks Could Kill Director's Cut, containing six new songs. Destroy Lonely's been going crazy for a while, and he's gotten attention from Rolling Stone to even some of the most known back in the day from Lil Wayne, Drake, Future, Thug, and of course, Cardi. But how does all this relate to what's going on right now? And how has Lone started to fall from grace? Well, Destroy Lonely has been having issues with his label where he hasn't been dropping consistently until recently. And it seems as if him and his girlfriend were ducked out of the way. But that's where this girl Brazil comes in. Brazil just her handle as her name is Aisha. So two days ago, she posted recently looking good on the TL, something smooth. But then three hours ago, she started an entire rant. I feel like when I say don't talk to me, I mean it in all ways respectfully. Now, many people are just speculating, but many think she was talking about Lone, as her next post after that was now Bobby. Why are you in Paris following my best friend in the club to the bathroom with your security? How about you talk to me? Tell her what you just said. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm being so 100. I would never ever in my life. I would never ever in my life. Not a good look, Lone. It's not a good look, bro. They got this man just chopping it, but I feel it right now, bro, because not that I relate to him, but bro, this looks crazy from his perspective right now. It seemed like at that level, bro, anything beyond just keeping the composure, you're gonna like you stalking, bro. You gotta just chill back, my boy. I hate to see the man lose his aura like this, bro. After that, she said, I'm so over this, man. These dudes spend two years trying to make me the bad guy and I've been quit. Cry, baby. Dude, mad over Lucky, you verbally abused me for an entire 21 hour flight to Germany. And when I finally snapped and hit you, you blamed me and then called my mom to play victim. Dang, oh my God. I apologize, y'all boys. It got crazy on here, bro. But I'm gonna try to show y'all what at least I can show y'all. He said she blanked 
her, you know, head, shoulders, knees and toes over in Germany after pushing me into a bed frame and then blammed all of my stuff in the hallway, all because I was tired and didn't want to get up at that exact second to roll a blunt. Wow, bro, man's looking dummy walkie. We were out once with at least 10 people. We argue, I want to sit in the car to the race over. You take one of my phones to try to stop me. I order an Uber to go. You hop in my Uber and blamed me in my face four times. And that same night, you're going to cry on the song with Pink Panthers about it. Phew. Now, after that, she said, how could you create a whole fake world with me and act like you have a mental disability and you were so affected growing up and nobody understands you just to keep me away from all the weird stuff you really want to be on and live two different lives yikes and this kind of goes back to the message y'all boys because a lot of these artists that people be thinking they're doing this that the other and in reality bro these dudes are cornballs they're doing all the same stuff and even some weirder diddy diddler stuff so y'all boys be careful out there and y'all young women people can be completely different people behind doors she said last time I, I tweet he said I do it for clout but baby boy you knew who I was before I ever knew you in our whole relationship you've been trying to break me apart for having a life before I started dating you then want to hang with people I've been around and talk about me you weird just weird I couldn't even listen to Don Tolliver anytime I tried he either make fun of me or him calling me in a bundle of sticks then the second we stop talking for a month you go record music with him and send it to me verbatim now i see why you like him so much whoa dang man never called cops on bobby dang she called that man his personal name he, he was arrested the day of we blamed for hours in apartment and downstairs and he started shouting that he didn't know me and i'm a dirty little you know I, this time we've already been dating for a year he then blamed me on the floor in front of the security guard two grown men who then called 911 on him now nah, destroy bro this is looking insane a lot of these artists love to keep quiet but this is a real tell all man and i'm trying to break it down for y'all one at a time so you get an idea of our timestamps. so it seems as if for this long time destroyed lonely's been basically leading an ulterior life with his partner where he's been also being extremely disrespectful rude and much worse to her on a personal intimate when they're alone time and this type of behavior is unacceptable and it's clown behavior and it's corny man big corny bro destroy lonely going out sad she then goes to say you try to instill this dark nobody can know what we do life and that like if i post myself anywhere you'll lose aura points cried over every pic i ever posted called me uh in a in a you know gardening tool user anytime i posted anything you ain't want me to post now you're exactly where you want to be disgusting behavior from that man destroy lonely if true but however we have to remember there's a lot of proof she's already showed and this stuff looks very authentic with timestamps so we're just going from there in tokyo he wanted me to go on one of our friends events we had just argued so i wanted to chill instead verbally fight i leave hotel you follow me for the entire 20 minute walk i give up and walk back to hotel <laughs> you snap and blam me and drag me three times by my blam at the addition disgusting behavior man disgusting behavior bro drop one of clues bombs we got to really get off this disgusting behavior man the struggle only looking walkie right now everyone and every time and every fight has come from me saying either no or wanting to leave his physical presence or me having my own mouth and thoughts then playing manipulation games and trying to blame me i've snapped back out of protection myself multiple times i don't wake up and hurt anyone i'm not him on his birthday last i wore a white dress for him he loved it then the second we get around cardi he go tell me i embarrass him and what that dress so cardi could see me then called me a gardening tool about it for months you are so embarrassing oh my god that boy lonely going outside bro or is gone bro you a buster man <clears throat> i can't believe what i'm seeing right now they thought that you were the next coming to one of these new dudes, but you a cornball, bro. And I'm not the type to take someone's side off rip, but I'm seeing so much evidence. It's hard to even try to paint a picture that could even show a perspective from him, bro. But we're going to continue breaking things down. Not letting anyone take my character when I really just be chilling and unbothered and never speak on nothing. 
Call me your wife, ring and all, and all you got is me and music. Act like you in it for other reasons. Talk about everyone around you, then turn around and smile in their face and talk about me. You have no loyalty to anyone, and I mean anyone. You knew this was coming, that way you hid me from since then. Broke up with him because the second to last time we were together, he had a blank in his hand in front of everyone we knew and said word for word, I'm a blam this girl and we were apart for three months. This all came from him finally texting my phone with my friend saying I might break up with him when we get back from LA because I ain't feeling this angry anymore and I ain't feeling this energy. We tried to fix it but he kept playing victim. You hid in LA in Miami and didn't want to come home and tried to tell everyone you single. Mind you, I'm really just at home ignoring you, blowing up my phone day and night. Then flew to New York about a week and some change ago to try to come get me back. Like you can blam where you at for real. Dang, destroy lonely, bro. You have to respond, bro. You have to respond because her last thing was, I have my reasons. We all do. The more Lone told me I was a user and that I didn't actually love him was the end of the mind games. Woo! This girl is spazzing, bro. She's snapping, man. And we have to really talk about this because this behavior is comes from a lot of different artists. We've seen this behavior with Cardi and his partner. We've seen this behavior with some of the people and you know michi and bino now i'm not gonna put that on the whole you know the the gang the opium all that stuff but i'm saying that this is too much and they need to respond bro the mysterious stuff don't work when you got real things people are saying about you that you need to bring up because she just brought a lot of things to light and destroy you're looking out of pocket but cloudy world and let me know what you all are thinking about this overall let me know how you feel about destroy lonely and what he's going through and give me your thoughts cloudy world and we gone.